Dr. Faisal coming from academia as well. Um, how much is it for teachers to take responsibility of creating the right talent? And how much should we be empathic as CEOs of tech companies to actually lower our expectations that the students come in as trainees, uh, let them make some mistakes if, if they haven't learned in the market? Because AI is new to Pakistan and the students with certain kind of uh, learning need an exposure. So whose job is it to train them right and whose job is it to give them the right jobs? Yeah, wonderful question. Uh, I think this is this is the actual missing part that you just mentioned because this like who will take this, who will own this responsibility? Actually, uh, it's not the only responsibility of teacher nor the industry. So we at some point we would have to come closer to each other. And you see, as Ali mentioned, the maybe the names of uh, ITU, LUMS, or maybe Punjab University, or some other. I'm just like I'm fast. So these are the universities where we have professionals. They have close connections with the industry. That's why they have better products over there, right? And and even uh, if I just uh, separate on on the responsibility of teacher and also on the on the company. So I think on the instructor side. So again, it would start with the development of your curriculum. So here, the HEC would come into play. It should not, you cannot give like a, a certain fixed curriculum, okay, just follow it. No, you cannot do it. So in this way, you have to keep it evolving, right? Same for the teachers. You cannot keep your assignment, your things very fixed. You need to just like evolve it with the time. You need to think like what exactly industry is, is, is asking. And particularly, maybe at some point, frankly speaking, we would have to change our instruction criteria. Maybe, for example, right now, most of the time industries are, they are very keen to hire PhDs. Maybe for these kind of things, you don't need PhDs. Maybe they need to come here to plan and you may need to just supervise the program. But maybe the right instructors who are actually industry professionals. As Ali mentioned, that who are making models with respect to certain problems, who are actually operationalizing them because that's a missing part most of the time, what we product we, we have in our company uh, when, for the interviews for the candidates. Because people usually come, they have theoretical knowledge, they have like knowledge of different things. But if you say, okay, can you do it end to end? That's missing. And that is the actual thing. If you don't deliver the model, you don't deliver the pipeline, which can work, which can give result to the customer, it's useless for anyone. So all POC, all MV, MVPs will go bad. It will have no effect. Coming back to the uh, to our company or like any hiring. So I think on this part, university has a limited, I would say bandwidth because you most of the times you work on client projects and, and you cannot really uh, take risk on these things because AI is a very critical thing. And whenever it comes to data, it's very sensitive. You cannot really, really like do anything which is uh, which can compromise clients work. But here, I think most of the inter industries at least at least in, in, in Lahore, but I know. So they have certain programs. They have programs of internship. They're always keen to have bright people and they want to spend certain time of their their team to just polish them, to bring them up to the mark. So they are okay. I think they, they are quite like open into, into this, uh, uh, in these things. But actually the goal would be that if we can just bring industry, academia closer, and we should we can keep it open like if the industry people can go there and teachers can also come into the industry they can work industry and they can upskill they can know that what exactly is the is, is being demanded over there 